the focus of the Department of Lab Medicine and Pathobiology at the University of Toronto is to achieve a high quality patient care. Added to this, we're trying to transmit knowledge to the next generation of residents and fellows and uh, also importantly, we're trying to have a significant contribution to the, our understanding of the pathobiology of disease through having a solid research program. As the only medical school serving a population of greater than four million people, we have really unparalleled access and opportunity to interesting diseases, case material, patient populations that other centers are just not able to do. And our job is to be able to harness that and work with it in a way that's going to accelerate the creation of new knowledge to benefit society and humanity. I think what's unique about the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathobiology is its size and diversity. So it encompasses a number of different disciplines, it spans a number of different research hospitals and institutions, and this allows for a highly collaborative environment. Many pathology departments have gone the direction of increased clinical service emphasis and less of an emphasis on basic research. In our case, we actually emphasize the research engine of our department so that it is conducive to generating new knowledge, which the academic mission is really all about. We kind of bridge the gap between basic science and the bench science. So we are a fertile soil for research because we have uh, unlimited material of tissues and body fluids. We perform a lot of testing that has a lot of meaningful information. But we also keep in mind what would be the implication of the research question that we have on patient management. A whole spectrum of disciplines are taught in this department. I examine tumor oxygen tension uh, processes. So every solid tumor faces an oxygen crisis as the tumor mass grows. My research focus is to understand this process of how cancer cells adapt under these compromised oxygen availability with the hope that this understanding will provide better avenues for therapeutic intervention. Another area where the University of Toronto is making a major impact is in the area of personalized medicine. And there are a number of researchers here uh, working on these questions to try to determine which patients should receive uh, which therapies to have the best response. My research lab here at St. Michael's Hospital is focused on biomarkers in kidney cancer. We compare the protein content and the microRNA content of kidney cancers and the adjacent normal tissue from the same kidney of the same patient. And we came up with a signature of microRNAs and proteins that are differentially expressed in cancer compared to normal. We also were able to identify a group of microRNAs that can predict beforehand how aggressive will be this particular tumor in that particular patient. We are arguably the only full service department in the entire University of Toronto. We have programs for undergraduate arts and science students, we teach undergraduate medical students. We teach residents. We have a very large master's and PhD program. I think what would attract a resident to study pathology here in Toronto is the volume of case material, the stunning array of research opportunities. We have now a three-month rotation in molecular pathology, uh, which is spread across three hospitals. I was attracted to come to the University of Toronto because it's well known to be one of the best research institutes in Canada. My research is looking at studying how the mutations that cause kidney cancer are disrupting the DNA repair pathway. So our bodies are constantly exposed to DNA damaging agents and if our body doesn't repair that DNA damage, it can lead to mutations which can then progress to cancer. The uh, program director and the department chair in pathobiology have been really very supportive in helping me to develop uh, a customized training program in training and research at the intersection of uh, bioinformatics, uh, epidemiology, and biostatistics. I think that's one of the strengths of our graduate program is that we are able to prepare our students for all sorts of diverse career opportunities in areas we haven't even thought of yet. I think what excites me is that it's new and novel, kind of like Christmas every day when you come in and get something exciting. We have outstanding scientists. We have students who 
challenge the established faculty to actually drive increased levels of performance. And I think what we are doing is we are just increasing the quality and the impact of what we do. And that's a really exciting and bright future.